What's up, family? What up, what up, what up? Sensei from Rider Fit Nation. As you guys know, as well, at least as some of you already know, I purchased a 20 footer, 8.5 or eight and a half by 20 feet length trailer. And I got some things that I'm gonna be doing to it. I'm also gonna be getting a 2500, maybe like a Chevy Silverado or something like that. Um, diesel, what do you guys think about diesel versus uh, gas? All my vehicles have always been gas, but there's a lot of pros when it comes to the diesel gas. So what I'm doing now, got a couple of things i'm going to be doing to the trailer actually a lot and you guys are going to get a chance to see the things that i'm doing to it but right now i got it hooked up i'm going to bring it to a shop um, so they can give me some insights and advice as to what's the best power surges i could use what's the best kind of batteries i could use on the trailer i also got the door fixed well not the door fixed i bought a lock for this door because this door right here it's all jammed and messed up so i, I bought a replacement lock for that and then also when i open up the trailer the back I'll show you guys real quick when I open up this trailer right here the cables is messed up and I could fix it myself but I'm gonna bring it to the spot and see if they have uh, the cables available so you see there's a cable right here it runs up to the springs like a garage door and this one snapped. Well, what happened, I had fixed both of them because before that one snapped was, was snapped when I bought the trailer. And uh, this is what the inside looks like. Let me get my barrel out of here real fast. All right, so the trailer is a pretty nice size trailer. I was gonna bring it back and get a smaller one, but I'm like, you know what? I might as well keep the bigger one because who knows, I might have things that I'm, I wanna do with it because I wanna do a business, right? So I, I could haul more stuff, especially when I get a bigger truck. And in this trailer, I could fit up to four, four, four bikes comfortably, but five if I space everything properly. I'm talking about four baggers. So here's the trailer here. Now the people who had this trailer before, they did some weird okie doke wiring. Like they use speaker, they use speaker wires to wire this up. Um, don't like that, but they had this, they had this already. They have the proper gauges here. They had a battery that was running down here. So you can see that they really had a setup, but you know, I'm gonna hook it up better, much better, right? They got the vent system, vent hole right there. Um, I'm gonna redo the boards, redo all of that. As you can see, and this is the lock from the inside, okay? And I bought the locks, a new lock right here that I'm gonna install in today's video. But like I said, first, I'm gonna run over to uh, that spot. As a matter of fact, let me open this up. Perfect. Here's the, here's the trailer lock that I bought, the, the whole, whole setup. Right, so that's gonna get installed today as well. All right, it's gonna be the first thing that I do on the trailer but I'm gonna take it and, and do a whole different cosmetic makeup, run new wires, run the battery, get some power in here. So when I start hauling y'all stuff, you know, I wanna give you guys quality. You know what I'm saying? Because this is what it's about, baby. Business, let's go. Guys, so I made it over to the dealership. 
we're getting the springs done. Everything is getting changed out, like I told y'all. Uh, when you look at the way this is, see this? It's uneven. Everything is uneven. So they're gonna change out, get the cables checked up, let's get the springs redone. And here's something I'll tell you guys. A lot of y'all be trying to work out with these springs like this. This thing here will fly and kill you, knock your teeth out, it will do all kinds of craziness. So if you don't do it the right way, you in trouble. Get the pros, baby, get the pros. Yeah, it's good for me to see how this is done too, you know? Learning process. Always learn, that's how, I, that's how I learn all the things that I do. I'm not afraid to talk to people, I'm not afraid to ask questions. Because that, that door, I can see the door right now, it is warped, crooked, because there's too much pressure on one side, and that's why that, that cable popped. So we gonna get that done. Yeah, I really need to get that. Just go to AutoZone and tell them or anywhere like that. Walmart, don't matter. Group 24 Deep Cycle Battery. So I'm going to say it to y'all on camera. Group 24 Deep Cycle Battery. Do what? Just one or you? Just one. Okay, perfect. Because I see some guys doing like doubles. I'm like, that's overkill. You, that ain't, yeah, for what you're doing? Yeah. yeah you don't need Because I just need to get lights and I'm going to yeah. put a little I mean, TV in front. These are LED lights and the Group 24 batteries yeah. are running for a long yeah. time. Exactly. You got two ways of charging it. You can, well, you can stick a battery tender on it and run an electrical cord to it when you're yeah. not using the trailer and keep yeah. the battery charged. Yeah. Or you can run a charge wire to your 7 volt plug. Okay. What, kind of, what are you driving? Ford I mean, Chevy Dodge? Yeah, I have, a, I have a Chevy now, but okay. I'm going to get me a Chevy 2500. Okay, Chevy, that means that the problem with charging it from the truck is on a Chevy, the 12 volt is only hot when the ignition is on. When it's on, okay. A Dodge is hot 24 seven. So you, if you got that battery down to nothing, you'd have to heal it hooked up and running for two weeks to charge that battery back oh, up. Oh, oh, oh you man. See what I mean? Yeah. Okay. That's good info. Guys, check out this story real quick. So you see what this man is doing right now? From what I just, uh, what I just got told, brother came. <laughs> trying to work on it by himself. His buddy picked up the door. That pulley system, the whole thing came in, chopped off four fingers. Four digits, the digitized, gone. Drop right in the ground. Drop right in the ground. So uh, that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Some things you can do on your own. Some things make sure you bring it to people who know. Because them four fingers, man, we need them. See, so this part is what now? That's for the bit you said it's for the bearings, right? Yes, sir. You see that grease net right there? Yeah. For you, you need to put grease in there every so often. You know, count it. I'm okay. Not, I'm not a hunter. So we're checking if the axle is bent on this thing or not. You have to look at the wheel around. That was put out a little bit. It is. I mean, it's not bad, but that front axle. It looks it like is. it's going like this, right? It is. Yeah. Exactly. Now it could be, huh? Could be the way it's turned. Yeah, when you kind of turn sharp, it has a tendency to push one out. Uh, when you pull it on level ground, yeah, not you know level and straight. It doesn't have to be level, but it needs to be straight. Uh, then come back and look at what you're looking at now. Yeah, on both sides, look from the front and the back. Mm -hmm. And if you determine that it's possibly bent, yep, the cost on that is several hundred. Yeah, which I don't need to spend. Yeah, yeah, because they have a they have another trailer there that's that's a little smaller than this one, but um, so so. But that's the kind of stuff you're supposed to. See, yeah. we have people come in here all the time, 
and they said, man, I got a deal on this trailer. And then we go through it to find out that they need axles, they need this, they right. need that. Yep. It really ain't a deal. No, you, you end up spending more money than exactly. you. Exactly. So, so far, I mean, so from a visual standpoint, you're saying to, to, to try to put it on a flat surface. Is there a way for me to straighten it up? Pull it straight. That's the problem. Anytime you make a turn, yeah. these trailer wheels go like this. So what if, what if I pull it straight now and see what it does? Well, you can do that, and then we'll look at it. And see, and see if it does it. All I do is just go straight. Okay, uh, I'll straighten it up and see what it does. All right, so axle, not bent. Axle's good. They checked it. Everything is good on the axle, which is awesome. The, um, the caps that we was checking, those... There was one missing on the other side, so that means there was not enough oil going in for that bearing. So we purchased an, I purchased a new one right here. So we got that, we got that put in, got the oil, got the oil put in there for those, for the bearings. Now, got the door fixed. So that's the first piece that I did. Two things I did with the trailer so far, just to make sure that everything is on point. Now I'll go get the door handled and get the lock done. And uh, that's it. Then it starts all the other stuff. All the other stuff. Yeah. All right, so this is my first trailer owning. I got I got the thing inspected. Axles are fine. Made sure that it wasn't bent. I have a few little things I'm gonna do on the external, but I'm gonna work on the inside first. External is gonna be last. Colors, all that stuff. So I bought the this deadbolt, this whole piece here, and I'm gonna install all of this so let's see how much i could do on my own and how much i'm gonna need to go and look it up so there's a couple of screws in here for example i see one get that out get that out so there are three screws four screws all right so we got that piece off that's the plate all right, so there's like a little, gotta take my time and cut this out. But they put like some waterproof in caulking. All right, there we go. Got that out. So that's pretty much how the cutout looks for the door lock. And this is how it looks here. All right, it's windy out here. So let's get the new one put in, and that'd be the, another thing done to the trailer. All right, so we got four screws off for the back plate, two screws for the door plate, and we're gonna push this in and see if that works. What's up, Dorian? What's up? Oh, you already added a light switch. No, the light switch is there already. So that piece got pushed in. So all I'm doing is just, you, you watching this? I know you're eating. So I push this in, comes out through this side, like this. And then I'm gonna do the same black caulking they had on the outside. So it's just a matter of me taking the plates now and pushing those plates, putting these screws back in and making sure that this piece goes right into where it needs to go to. All right, let me show you guys something really fast, right? So inside this lock, right here, there is like a little lever like this, okay? That's what opens this and closes this. It's what controls this mechanism. Hold on a second. It controls this, right? In the front of it. I know it's hard to see. So that way, that lever will slide this back and forth, okay? I know it's, it's hard to see, I get it. But that's what you gotta do when you're changing the lock. See, push this in, make sure that piece is in, is able to control this back and forth when you pull it. You see what I'm saying? So you want this piece, I'll tell you, it has to be able to move this like that. And then, once we do that, then we have to line up these screws, make sure they go in the right opening. All right, so now the last piece I'm putting on is this plate right here. Using a screwdriver. And that's a brand new lock that's put in. Now let's see what this does. See if it, will it lock? Nope, it does not lock. This piece is not going in. This right here. 
or maybe this is stopping it maybe it doesn't need it because there's a little space in that that keeps us out so let me take this off because originally they didn't have one here there we go now will it open back up yep opens back up This will lock it, and then you can lock it this way. So now it's locked from the bottom and from the top. There we go. You got to see a few things that we did today on the trailer. We got some stuff done. I'm gonna I'm gonna tighten this piece up, like I said, this with the, with the, with the uh, screwdriver. Phillips, lock that in. I got my son, he's in there sweeping out the dirt and we're gonna start getting ready for the electrical stuff. We're gonna run, a, there's some lights there, but the, the people who had the trailer, they use speaker wires for electrical, for electrical stuff and I don't like that. So no speaker wires, man. We're gonna go and get the right gauges that we need. We're gonna reroute the wires and we're gonna get a little TV in here, probably like a 24 inch or something. Pop up a TV in here and get the battery and then get the charger, maybe a tender or something. And then I want to also make sure that I have this thing wired up so I can get power from the outside, external power from the house or from the vehicle. All right, so I'm here tightening this down. Like I said, with the uh, with my hands, with the hand, hand tool, not the power tool, so I don't strip the screw. With the power tool, sometimes it's too strong and you don't need to use the power tool all the time. All right. the first ride up in here to see what happened with the uh with the ball i had a smaller ball on there which picked up the whole damn thing so it wasn't locked in properly so let's see what we get with the uh um bigger ball and that should do the job let's go one bike here and I bring it up to the front and it stands straight up and that should give me another bike right here another bike will go right here or even right next to it as long as the bike is standing straight up right so that's two bikes then back here another bike will be able to fit here and because of these, these space killers, but another bike will fit right here. So that's four, four motorcycles, fully custom, full baggers. And if you space it out properly, and you put another bike in the middle, like that, that, that's back in the center, then that will give us five bikes. So this will fit up to five bikes. That's a 20 footer. But once again, you gotta be strategic with it, which I'm gonna have to be. And uh, yeah, it feels good to have the trailer, guys. Everything is a learning curve. I just had this my first trailer. So make sure we got everything properly done. Now I'm gonna pull the bike back. Dorian, I'm waiting for you to record outside as I pull back, right? And I want you to see, I wanna see what the trailer does in camera. Okay. Yep. Oh, 
that problem solved, right? So we got the trailer thing is dope, man. So we got the cables fixed so far, got the locks put in. I, I changed the ball, make sure we have the right ball. We had this, a ball that was too small. So those are the little things that we gotta look for anytime you do any kind of trailing. I've trailed a lot, this might be my first trailer. However, I'm glad me and my son decided to bring the bike in to kind of space out and see where we're gonna put the bikes. And I'm glad we did that because we were able to see the thing. The whole damn thing lift up. I mean, you see in the video, the whole thing lift up. I, I feel like I was about to fly, like woohoo! How we doing in there? Good. Nice. Woo, Dora, we got, we got some work to do here, boy. Yeah. Not a lot, but just some cosmetic buildup. All right, guys, there it is, man. I'm telling y'all, I'm keep on bringing y'all the flavor, man. This channel is everything that has to do with motorcycles and more. This is Sensei telling y'all, let's get this miles, let's get this money, let's get this muscle. All right, leave a comment. First time getting my trailer, first time owning a trailer, I went ahead and got me a big boy. It's an 8.8 by 5 by 20. When I get this thing set up, you already know who to call when you need to get some tow. You got your motorcycles, you got certain things, you got people that want to get stuff moved. I'm going to start that little business. It's going to be my little side hustle because I need something different and I got I to gotta keep busy. You know what I'm saying? So let's go. I'm also open to advice. If y'all got some ideas on what will make my business grow a little faster with that because some of you guys out there already do it. Let me know what up. All right. Excited. Later.